A few months ago, we launched a Learn to Knit workshop with Tabitha Hedrick that taught the absolute basics of knitting. From casting on, to knitting a garter stitch scarf, to learning how to bind off and finish a knitted project. That set of tutorials was designed to get you started with knitting. In this workshop, I'd like to take some of those skills to the next level with some more fundamental techniques, including learning how to work the purl stitch, how to combine knits and purls into ribbing, how to do a provisional cast on, and also how to work a Kitchener stitch to graft two ends together in a very seamless way. And for those of you who aren't interested in grafting, I'll also show you how to do the three needle bind off so you can finish your work quickly. The project we'll make in this workshop is what I call the 5x5 five five cowl. This super easy to knit cowl takes three yarns knit together to make a lush, cozy, and bouncy infinity loop that can be worn wrapped around your neck as a cowl or unwrapped and loose like a scarf. It's a super simple design that I worked up many, many years ago, and it satisfies my love of playing with color combinations and creating something that is texturally squishy, cozy, and soft. Even though this project is really simple, it's still one of my favorite projects for comfort knitting. You'll explore mixing and combining multiple strands of different colors and textures to create a marled fabric. It's also a great way to use one-off variegated or hand-dyed yarns that have been orphaned in your yarn stash. So let's take a look at the 5x5 cowl and how it's structured. Basically, it's a long ribbed scarf where the cast on is done with a provisional cast on. That means that it is temporary and when I release that provisional cast on, I will reveal the live stitches, meaning that those loops that are released and exposed can be put back onto another knitting needle and then you can start knitting again from that point. This is a very useful cast on if you ever need to knit in the opposite direction from a center line. So if you wanted to knit a scarf or a shawl that is perfectly symmetrical. So in this case, we're going to use this provisional cast on so that after we finish knitting our scarf, we can take the live stitches from the end of the scarf and graft them to the live stitches at the start of our scarf in a completely seamless way. This way you can throw on your cowl however you like and no one will be able to tell where the start or the end is. Now looking at the scarf itself, it's made from a ribbing and that simply means that we are working knit stitches and purl stitches in a way that makes them stack on top of each other and that produces a very stretchy fabric. You can do ribbing by alternating one knit and one purl or two knits and two purls or even things like three knits and one purl. And so those will be referred to as one by one ribbing, two by two ribbing, three by one ribbing and so on. They will all produce different textures of ribbed fabric. In this case, we're going to be making a ribbed fabric that is five knit stitches wide and then five purl stitches. And that's why I called it the 5x5 five five cowl. Also as a side note, 5x5 five five is an old term that was used in radio communication that simply means everything is okay, everything is fine. It all sort of works up into this feeling that knitting the scarf, feeling that comfort from making those stitches makes everything okay. Everything is going to be fine.